I feel like an idiot selling the Aura 2 for $100 on eBay just to upgrade to this. Wait a second, why am I having these glasses on? Yeah, I definitely feel like throwing my Aura that way. In this video, I'll be sharing my first thoughts on whether it's worth upgrading from Aura 2 to Aura 3. If this is your first time buying Aura Ring, keep watching anyway so that you can know if you should buy the new version or just go to eBay and get Aura 2 for less than half the price. Just quickly before we start, English is not my first language, so if you have trouble understanding me, stop complaining. Just turn on the caption, okay? So let's talk about this new feature. So previously with Aura Ring 2, it can only track your heart rate during your sleep. Now, with this new new version, you can track your heart rate even during the day. Aura claims that you can track your heart rate 24-7 with this Aura 3. Well, after testing this feature, that's not entirely true. The Aura Ring 3 only tracks your heart rate when you stay relatively still. So if you buy this ring, hoping you will be able to know if your heart rate is a little bit too high when running or working out, it's not going to do that for you. At least not until late 2021 as they specify on their website. I really don't know what they mean by late 2021 by the way. Way because that's a really vague and ambiguous statement because technically this is late 2021 as well, right? To be completely honest, I truly believe that one of the main benefits of buying a heart rate tracking device is to be able to detect any abnormality in your heart rate when you least expect it. For example, my young and healthy sister recently got bacterial pneumonia out of nowhere as she went to college in California and unfortunately it went undetected for so long and it got so serious that she ended up having to undergo a lung surgery. I somehow believe that if she was to have a good heart rate tracking device, she could be able to detect her abnormal heart rate and gone to the ER much sooner. So anyway, my point is, if you are young and healthy, how often do you go inside and out specifically to track your heart rate and pay attention to it? Think about it. Even back when I had my Aura Ring 2, I rarely look at my sleeping heart rate as I assume it's just normal. Now of course, to be completely fair, Aura does put a warning statement on the app if your heart rate is a bit too high during the night. However, if you were to have a device which monitors and displays your heart rate in real time so that anytime you look at the screen, even if you're not interested in knowing your heart rate, you will still see it. Now that's something that could have prevented my sister from having to undergo the lung operation. Of course, Aura can still track your heart rate in real time if you actively go into the app and press the heart rate button and stay relatively still. But I truly believe if the reason you want to upgrade to Aura 3 is because of this new daytime heart rate tracking feature, it would be way better off buying a Fitbit or an Apple Watch to track your heart rate during the day. If let's look at Fitbit here for example. With just around $100, you will truly be able to track your heart rate 24-7. Now this is real 24-7 we're talking about and your wallet will thank you for it. <laughs> to be honest, Aura's activity tracking still has a long way to go to catch up with Apple and Fitbit. Now of course that's to be expected as I believe most people buy Aura Ring as their sleep tracker, not their activity tracker. With Aura 2 and 3, yes they do have automatic activity detection, however, in my personal experience, although they're pretty good at detecting walking and running, they're not very good at detecting workouts. It doesn't matter if I did some light kundalini yoga or some leap weighting and cardio activity, they still couldn't detect it. You do, however, have the option to lock your activity after the workout. They're gonna need a few of your inputs such as what kind of exercise was it? How long did you do it for? And finally, how was the intensity level? Which you can choose between low, medium and high which Aura will then use to gauge how many calories you have burned. Now with the Aura Ring 3 and the daytime heart rate feature, I was very hopeful that they would be able to track my calories more accurately based on my heart rate during the workouts. However, as I already mentioned, they can't measure your heart rate during your workout yet. I mean, even after rolling out the workout heart rate feature in late 2021, I'm not even sure if they can achieve that. I tried to ask them about this on Instagram about a month ago and they never replied to me. It's not even to mention that it feels really uncomfortable with this ring on and you do heavy weight lifting. Which is why I truly believe if you want to track your activity, you would be way better off with a Fitbit or an Apple Watch as it can track your workout much better and it's a lot more comfortable to wear. This is a part where some of you would not be interested so feel free to skip to the next chapter. To be honest, unless you tend to have very irregular periods 
periods. I don't see why you would need this. There are plenty of free apps on your phone to track your period. So if you are someone with regular periods, in my opinion, there's no need to pay another $300 to have this feature. The only time where it would make sense to base your purchase decision on this is if you are someone who tends to have irregular periods and that inability to know when your period is about to come has been affecting your quality of life. Then I would say having this device to predict when your period is coming based on your temperature could be helpful. Which brings me to my final thoughts. I feel like an idiot selling the Aura 2 for $100 on eBay just to upgrade to this. It was definitely an impulsive decision. Now you may be asking, why did I sell it so cheap? The thing is, Aura Ring's depreciation is crazy. Natural wear and tear is almost unavoidable with Aura Ring and there will be scratches after wearing it for a while. Also, with Aura Ring, there's no way you could know what size you are unless you order from them directly and try the ring size kit. Anyway, here are my thoughts. There wasn't really any significant improvement that I feel like I could change my life for the better. While they did claim that their sleep tracking got more accurate in this new generation, well, I don't think that would make any big impact on your life, I feel like with Aura 2, they do a pretty good job of, I would say, tracking your total hours of sleep per night and detecting when did you wake up. So as long as you have a pretty good idea of how many hours you sleep a night and your overall trend over a certain time period, it should help you to make informed decisions to change your lifestyles for the better. Now I think detecting the different sleep stages such as light, REM, deep, is where the difference between Aura 2 and Aura 3 really comes in. And perhaps Aura 3 is more accurate in that aspect. However, that improved sleep staging won't come out until 2020. I don't understand what's the point of releasing a new generation of the ring without all the features you are trying to sell people for available, this seems to me like a decision to take advantage of people's impulsive buying tendency around holiday season. So to sum up, for those of you who already have an Aura 2, I don't think Aura 3 is worth the upgrade. If you want to take your heart rate and activity tracking to the next level, you can use that money to buy a real fitness tracking device to wear during the day and wear Aura Ring at night to track your sleep. For those of you who are thinking of getting a an aura ring for the first time, if you are fine with wearing a watch during your sleep, then I would say Fitbit is a better option because it does a really good job of tracking your activity, heart rate, and sleep. So it's basically everything you need to work towards a healthier lifestyle at a much more reasonable cost. And if you are someone like me who absolutely hates wearing watches when sleeping and still wants to track your sleep, and you don't mind wearing an old ring and don't care about the upgrade sleep staging, and just want to have a decent idea of how your sleep quality is, finding a good deal of Aura 2 on eBay will save you a lot of money. Now the tricky part about that is knowing what size you are, but I see that a lot of people are selling their ring size kit on eBay, so yeah, it still can work. However, if you are worried about warranty issue or battery issue, as Aura's battery tends to be worsened with time, and after a year of using my Aura 2, it can only last only 2-3 to three days at most, or perhaps simply because you prefer prefer a new ring without any scratches and love that feeling of unboxing during this holiday season, then of course, go ahead and buy the Aura Ring 3 even with its flaws. It's still a very solid sleep tracker at the end of the day. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Lemon. Actually, you know what? You can call me whatever you want because Lemon is not even my real name. I prefer to stay anonymous so that if Aura finds out about this video, they can't do anything bad to me. Well, given how advanced their technology is, they can probably figure out who I am without even knowing my name. Should I still upload this video then? Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please move the like and subscribe button.